Hello everyone, my name is Bojo Balov. I'm an academic painter based in Split, Croatia. I'm working as a 3D generalist at Prime Render Studios here in Croatia. And in this part of tutorial, we are going to texture and shade our character. So let's get started. So we imported our uh, Quill geometry into Blender. And as you can see, all layers that we had in Quill are now separated in Blender, which is going to be very helpful when we apply materials to different parts of our character. As you can see, our character has different shoes. These shoes are 3D scanned, and that's something I do a lot in my art. I combine different mediums to get uh, different results. First of all, let's delete these default materials that Quill added to our geometry and we are going to start from a new one. So first of all, I'm going to add a vertex color node and when I plug it into base color, you can see we have all of our coloring that we done in Quill, we have it now in Blender. Now we are going to add another image texture. This one is going to act as a alpha map. And as you can see, our alpha map is a black and white image with a bunch of uh, random brush strokes, which is going to give us a really painterly look. We need to change the blend mode of our material. We need to set it on alpha hashed. And then also we need to unwrap our 3D model, so I'm just going to use a smart UE project, which is going to work uh, pretty fine for this kind of thing. So this is still not looking right, and that's because we need to add an invert node. Now this is looking better, and as you can see it's a pretty simple setup. Just an alpha texture and a color texture, or vertex color. And this is what our UV map looks like. So it's a bunch of poly islands scattered uh, around our UV space, which fits our texture map perfectly. Now I'm just going to apply the material we just created uh, to the rest of our character. and also repeat the unwrapping process on every object. Now I'm going to go into vertex paint mode and I'm going to start adding some colors where I feel it's needed. So now I'm working on hands and I'm going to add some exag exaggerated reds to them. That's something I do on almost all of my characters. I add some strong redness to the fingers, to the ears, to the nose. And I'm also rescaling the UV map. So I rescaled the alpha texture, which was too tiny. And now I'm going to repaint the face a bit. I'm just gonna add some more color detail to it. And also the interesting thing is that uh, vertex color that you painted in VR, inside a quill, will often be much darker or the hue will be slightly shifted when you import it in Blender. I don't know why exactly this happens, but uh, that's a thing to note, so so you can always do uh, adjustments on it, uh, maybe by using uh, hue saturation nodes or just repainting, repainting it like I do here. And now let's texture the pants. So this is just going to be slightly different in comparison to the way we shaded our face in a way that we are going to use image texture and the image texture is just a bunch of images of uh, jeans, pants I found online on one of these shopping sites and I just smash them together in one texture. So 
So the problem is we can't use the UV map we are using for our alpha texture because that UV map is just pure chaos. <laughs> so we are going to create a new UV map and we are just going to project it from view. And I'm going to take that UV project that we just made and I'm just going to massage it until it fits our image texture. just noticed I didn't make uh, left pocket so I'm just going to duplicate this part of geometry and mirror it to the other side. So our pants are done and now let's do the same thing with our socks. I'm just going to delete this part of socks because we are not going to see it anyway and I don't want any unnecessary clipping with shoes. And for the hoodie I'm just going to paint some vertex colors onto it. When I paint this, I'm kind of thinking maybe this is his old hoodie, he's wearing it a long time, so I'm going for a slightly weird look. And uh, for his jacket, I'm going to leave the color as it is. And I'm just going to adjust the roughness slider on our shader, which is going to give it a nylon look I'm going for. And for the shoes, I'm just going to add an alpha map to them and leave them as they are. For the 
head the same process we had for our pants and socks. I have a head texture and I'm going to project the UV map onto it. So now it's time to animate the alpha map texture. And we are going to do that simply by clicking right click on our mapping coordinates and we are going to insert a keyframe. And now I'm going to switch to graph editor and as you can see when I grab the X axis you can see how our texture moves. And I'm just going to key it so it moves through whole duration of our animation. And it's important to set our interpolation to linear because we don't want any easing in and easing out. So I'm just going to change the playback speed of our animation from 25 frames per second to 12 because our final animation is going to be in 12. And that way we can better preview what our texture looks like right now. And we are going to do the same for every object on our character. And we are done! So this is the finished character. I hope you like it. I hope you learned something. And as always, feel free to ask me any questions. I'll be more than happy to answer them. And I'll see you in part 3 of the tutorial when we are going to rig and animate this character. So don't miss that. And once again, thank you for watching and bye.